Hello, and welcome to the Wayne State University's 2021 African American Graduation Celebration Ceremony. My name is Joseph Bradfield, and I'll be your host for today's event. I work for the Office of Multicultural Student Engagement, better known as UMSI, and I'm also the program manager of the Network Learning Community, which is a learning community designed to support Black men with their transition into and through the university. I want to thank you for taking this time to come and celebrate the efforts and accomplishments and achievements of your graduates. This is a wonderful time and the committee has taken the time and effort to try to create something very special for you to cherish those accomplishments at, at the university, especially during this very difficult time that we're living in now. So I hope that you can appreciate what we've put together for you. I also want you to right now take a moment, take a moment to reflect. Think about your ancestors, especially during this historic e event and date of Juneteenth. Think about our history. Think about our past. Think about the struggles that our people had to endure to get help get you to this point. You are living the dreams of those individuals. Think of what that means. You are potentially going to be able to become something even bigger than you can even envision for yourself, especially if you use that as your inspiration to achieve your accomplishments moving forward. Go into the workplace and be epic. Be as powerful and dynamic as you can ever dream of becoming and use that source for your inspiration. And with that said, I wanna move on to the next portion of our program. We will officially start the program with the blessings and permission of our elders. Ron Wood, 1975 graduate, Wayne State University. I give my endorsement and support to begin the graduation ceremonies for the African-American students at Wayne State University. I'm Dee Janelle Drake, a 1977 journalism major. I am happy to give my permission to start the African American graduation ceremonies. Greetings, Grun W. Gillum, Monteith, 1976, 
and I am giving permission for the opening of the African American graduation ceremony. Libations aspect of the ceremony is to honor, venerate, commemorate, memorialize, and invite the spirit and energy of our ancestors that have gone before us. Greetings and congratulations. My name is Kofense Chike and I'm a lecturer in the Department of African American Studies. I'm also a veteran uh, participant, participant in the African American Studies graduation and it's been a pleasure and an honor to be here again as we come to celebrate, lift up, raise up the accomplishments, the successes of the graduating class of 2021. I also am privileged to have been uh, sitting where you sit today as a graduate many years ago. And you have come, you have arrived, you have made it, and now it's on to the next phase. Lift every voice and sing to earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies resound.
Fellow graduates, I wish I was with you in person to celebrate with you and give you my hearty congratulations. You've sacrificed, worked hard, and persevered to get to this point, and you should be proud of your accomplishments. You know that you are graduating and entering into a difficult world where we are confronting so many challenges, including racial inequity. We need your brilliance, confidence, and presence to fight against these issues. And I hope you use your skills to advocate for racial, social, and economic justice. I urge you to follow the words of the esteemed actor, Denzel Washington, who said, at the end of the day, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who you've lifted up, who you've made better. It's about what you've given back. Use your talents to lift others up, make others better, and give back. Congratulations, 2021 African American graduates. Go Warriors. Hello, everyone, and congratulations to the newest class of Wayne State University alumni. The African American graduation ceremony has been a celebratory event that I've always enjoyed coming to. While I know that we can't all get together this year, I still want to offer my congratulations. It's been a long road for you. You made it to the finish line though, and you've encountered some extraordinary challenges along the way. So take time to celebrate all the sacrifice and hard work it took for you to reach this moment with your degree in hand. I'd like to say a special thank you to the family and friends and significant others who have helped along the way. So to the parents, spouses, partners, children, grandparents, and others, may this day be filled with joy for you. Our graduates stand on the shoulders of giants and today's celebration is for all of you as well. Graduates, as you move on to your next part of the journey, I ask that you please don't forget about the relationship you forged over the years with faculty, staff, and other students, and all the transformative experiences you had here that helped shape who you are today. As Wayne State alumni, you are our best ambassadors. Please share your stories with people you meet in the community and help kindle the light of learning for others. I wish you all the happiness that life has to offer. Graduates, congratulations again to the class of 2021. On behalf of the Wayne State Office of Diversity and Inclusion in the Provost Office, I wanna congratulate you on your graduation from Wayne State and your commencement into the next phase of your life. You're to be commended for the perseverance and excellence you have demonstrated that has brought you to this day, to this moment. This academic year has been filled with the challenges of the ongoing COVID pandemic and the continuing racism that our communities experience every day. Under these pressures, you have strived and worked hard and overcome your own unique circumstances to be here now as graduates of Wayne State University. It was not easy, but you did it. Graduation is defined as the receiving or conferring of an academic degree or diploma while commencement is defined as a beginning or a start. So today celebrates both the ending of your academic career at Wayne State and the beginning of your what's next. For those of you who already know what your next phase of life looks like, congratulations. It is a wonderful feeling to have a plan and to be stepping into it. For those of you who remain somewhat uncertain as to what's next, you have it in you to determine what your next steps might be. For me, uncertainty about what I was going to do with my undergraduate degree led me to graduate school, where I continued to work hard and at times questioned my choices. Eventually, I sorted out my next phase, found a pathway, and followed it. Life isn't always easy, but you have already proven to yourself that you can persevere and make it. In the process, along the way, you discover your passion and purpose. It might take a while, but it will come. It's possible that you'll encounter fear and resistance within your own self. 
This is when having a vision is important. Padre Lord said, when I dare to be powerful, to use my strength in the service of my vision, then it becomes less and less important whether I am afraid. And so I congratulate you for all the times you dared to be powerful, for the times you found your voice and shared uncomfortable truths, for the times you extended compassion and love to other people, even when it was difficult, for those times when you persisted, even when you were uncertain and afraid. I congratulate you. I celebrate you. I honor you. On this Juneteenth day, Freedom Day, I wish you a wonderful graduation and a successful commencement 2021. I'm Lori Lozon Claybo, Interim Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Thank you for inviting me to join you today as we host a special celebration, recognizing the achievements of our African-American graduates. And today, as we celebrate our Black graduates, we are acutely aware of the disparities that continue to be faced by communities of color. We know that the pandemic has had disproportionate impact on communities of color, disparities in access to care and treatment and outcomes. We're also reminded of the inequities in justice afforded to the Black community. And this past year, many of you who are celebrating today have made real and significant contributions to both bringing these disparities to wider public view and you've worked toward reducing them. You face these issues while continuing to focus on your academic success. So despite the fact that we're unable to be together and despite what we've all experienced in the past year, this is an occasion of celebration. I hope that each of you will take the time to reflect on all that you've accomplished and on what those accomplishments say about you, about your ability as an individual to display courage and grit and resilience, even in the face of global challenges. You are warrior strong and you can change the world. We are so proud of you. Hello everybody, my name is Ali Johnson. I am professor and chair of the Department of African American Studies at Wayne State University. I have been at Wayne State since the fall of 2004. I am here today to congratulate our graduating seniors on a job well done. I have so much love for you. I have so much respect for you. I know how hard you've worked. I know that it's been a heck of a year. The last year and a half have devastated the United States and the world. But you hung in there. You were warrior strong. And African American Studies graduates, uh, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences graduates, all Wayne State University graduates have my love and respect. I also want to send a shout out to everybody participating in the African American graduation ceremony. I think it's always good for us to come together and celebrate and acknowledge, recognize our achievements. I think this is the first step in a long and distinguished life and career for you. And I want to encourage you to keep on keeping on, to keep on stepping, to keep on doing what you can do to make the world a better place. Thank you again for your hard work. We appreciate you. The Department of African American Studies sends out its congratulations. And we look forward to hearing from you and we look forward to seeing you and being in touch. Thank you very much. Greetings, my people. Just wanted to issue formal congratulations on your graduation. I know it's been a tough year. It's been a tough year for everybody. 
but you made it through despite all of the trials and tribulations. So now you can sit back for a minute, relax, enjoy the moment and I look forward to seeing the great things that you're going to do in the future. Move forward and represent. Hi Warriors, my name is Erica Jackson and I'm the Senior Director of Undergraduate Admissions at Wayne State University. I'm so glad to be able to congratulate you for making it through to the finish line, for pushing through, for persevering, and for being Warrior Strong. The best is yet to come. Congratulations. Hey, what's happening y'all? My name is Sean Novak. I'm an academic advisor in the Department of Psychology here at Wayne State University. Just wanted to pop in and congratulate you on this great achievement. You know, there's a lot going on in this world today. As you know, there's always plenty of distractions, just being a student and having life in general. And that's, you know, been even more intense for y'all during this time. And uh, despite all that, you've been able to plow through that and achieve this goal. And that's something uh, that you need to really step back and just appreciate during this time. So I wish you nothing but the best. Keep blazing trails. To the class of 2021, congratulations, you did it. Coming into your final two semesters, no one quite knew what to expect, but you, you buckled down, you stayed determined, and pushed through with the confidence of a true warrior in the face of adversity. And for that, I applaud each and every one of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is LaJoyce Brown. I am the Senior Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions at Wayne State and a proud Wayne State alum. Well done to each of you. You have earned every bit of the success you are enjoying today. May you continue to do great things, stay safe, and stay warrior strong. Hi, I'm Rashawn from the Office of Student Financial Aid, also a fellow Wayne State alum. I want to congratulate all of our graduates and we wish you the very best in your future endeavors. On behalf of us and the Imprep Scholars, we are so proud of you. Rites of passage is a very important part of various phases of life, be it being born, getting married, having a child, and so many other things. And rites of passage mark the passing, the evolving of one level exist of existence to the next. And this graduation for you, the point that you are now, you are in a rites of passage, rites of passage process at a rites of passage moment. For you are moving from being a student to now being a person that has graduated and moving on to another level of success in your life. And a part of the tradition of the African-American graduation, of course, is to help our uh, graduates, those we've come to celebrate, understand the significance and power and importance of rites of passage. But also, we do this by leaving you with three very important African principles. And I'll talk briefly about each of these principles. Of course, first we have Ma'at. And Ma'at is symbolized by an Egyptian woman who has her arms expanded like wings. And she symbolizes justice, propriety, reciprocity, balance, and order. And these are just a few of principles associated with Ma'at. There are literally over a hundred principles of Ma'at, but we focus on those primary five. And this symbolizes the need for balance and order in society and in our lives. And Ma'at dates back to ancient Egypt or what the Egyptians call Kemet, which is the correct name for Egypt. So as you move forward, we like you to employ these principles. Know my eye and practice my eye. Strive for justice. Work to have balance, both within yourself and among your co-workers, your family members, your colleagues, and all the other various endeavors in your life. Work to have order in your life and amongst others. Operate from propriety, which means to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. So the first principle, again, is ma'at. The second principle is sankofa. Sankofa is a Akan word. And the Akan people is a federation of five ethnic groups in Ghana, West Africa. The language is tree. 
Sankofa means to reach back and fetch that which you have left behind. It's symbolized by a bird with his head turned back, reaching for an egg on his back, but looking forward. And we take this to mean to reach back in our past for all of the good things, the strength of our ancestors, the glorious accomplishments from those in our past, the, the work and deeds and the efforts of our forefathers and our foremothers. It's very important that we know and understand our history, particularly as we go from this place into the next level of our existence. So as you go forward, we want you to always remember Sankofa, which means to reach back and, and retrieve that which was left behind. Let your glorious history, the legacy of your culture, be a part of the, of the momentum that moves you forward and always look back for strength as you embark upon new endeavors. And the third principle is Harambe. And Harambe is a key Swahili word, which means to pull together. And there's an African proverb which says, I am because we are, which speaks to the importance of the group, whether it's the family, the community, the frat that you're in, the collective entity, that familiar type effort that we all need as individuals to help reinforce who we are and to help strengthen us and to help us to be carried through and to do the work and meet the challenges we have before us. And Harambe simply means pour together. Some of you may be familiar with uh, the term Harambe because at the end of uh, Kwanzaa celebrations, which we also ce celebrate annually here at Wayne State as well, we close by pulling seven strong harambes, and we'll do that in just a second. But I like to just review. And as you go forward, for once you cross the water, so to speak, or once you move to the next level, you cannot go back. You will be graduates. You'll be moving on to the next thing, moving on to uh, bigger and better things, more challenges. So I just like to recap. The first one was Ma'at. Can you say Ma'at? The second one is Sankofa. Can you say Sankofa? And then the last of the three principles is we come to celebrate you and help you move forward into the next phase of your life is Harambe, which in Kiswahili means to pull together. And we collectively, of course, if we were in person, we would I would conclude by us pulling seven strong harambes. And the way we do this, we put our left hand over our heart, put our right hand up, and we say harambe seven times on the count of three. One, two, three. Harambe, 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 harambe. Pour together, pour together together on behalf of the Department of African American Studies here at Wayne State and our faculty, I'd like to congratulate you and sell you job well done. And for you in the future, all the best. Asante Sana, thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Kirsten Hubbard. I graduated in December with my Bachelor's of Science in Psychology and double minors in Criminal Justice and Sociology. I'm currently a detox counselor at Don Farm, which is a substance abuse treatment facility located in Ann Arbor and Ypsilanti. This fall, I will be attending the University of Denver pursuing my Master's in Forensic Psychology. My dream is to become a Forensic Psychologist in the FBI. I'm extremely honored to be this year's student keynote speaker for African American graduation. African American graduation is a time for us as black students to come together and celebrate all of our accomplishments. All of those long nights in the UGL have finally paid off. Many of us came in together and have had the privilege of cultivating friendships, partnerships, and lifelong bonds. Our experiences may have been different, but we have one thing in common, and that's black excellence. My collegiate journey was different than most of my peers. My freshman year of college, I ended with a 2.98 GPA due to my medical conditions. Because of this, I lost one of my scholarships. My sophomore year, I had to leave school early because I had to learn how to walk again for the fourth time. Throughout my journey, 
I had the privilege of having the support of OMSI, specifically Joseph Bradfield. JB advocated for me to get the accommodations that I needed in order for me to graduate on time. During my time at WSU, I had the opportunity to be a member of the Community of Scholars, the African American Psychology Student Organization, also known as APSO, Justice Society, Student Activities Funding Board, also known as SAFB, Sociology Club, Criminal Justice Chairs Council, and the Welcome Black Planning Committee. I was an outside student for the inaugural cohort of the National Inside Out Prison Exchange Program. My involvement in the Inside Out program inspired me to complete research as a McNair Scholar, where I evaluated effective rehabilitation programming within correctional institutions and its impact on recidivism rates. I was also one of the student leaders chosen to study abroad in Israel and Palestinian territories in an effort to learn more about the Israeli and Palestinian conflict. Being a black student leader on campus allowed me to grow as an individual. It taught me the importance of representation and the impact that we as black students are able to make daily. It allowed me to create safe spaces for other students who look like me and work with some of the most influential student leaders at WSU. The initiatives that I had the pleasure of being a part of, such as the Kings and Queens Scholarship Ball and Project Femme, not only made an impact on the community, but genuinely inspired me to continue to complete service. As black students, we have continuously shown perseverance and proven that we don't need seats at the table because we are in fact the table. We have developed some of the most legendary organizations, events, and opportunities that will forever live on at WSU. We have been role models for students who come after us. Take this moment and remember that we did not survive college, but we definitely thrived. I would genuinely like to thank everyone that has worked with me, mentored me, and inspired me. Thank you to OMSI, APSO, and McNair for taking a chance on me and believing in my dreams. Congratulations to every student on reaching the finish line. This is a major accomplishment, not just for you, but for our families as well. As we move forward into our next chapters, I wish everyone the best and cannot wait to see what the future holds for everyone. Again, congratulations to all the Black graduates. Hello everyone, my name is Janine Conley Berry and as a Wayne State University alumni, I just want to take the time to say congratulations. Congratulations, Wayne State Warriors, class of 2021. We're so proud of you and continued success on your magnificent journey. Hello, I'm Dr. Mary Jenkins Williams, a two-time graduate of Wayne State University. And I just want to say congratulations to everyone on this monumental occasion. Hello, my name is Dr. James Holly Jr. I'm in the College of Education, uh, working in teacher education. And I just want to say congratulations to all of this year's gradu uh, graduates. Uh, it's been a long and difficult semester, different, difficult couple years, but you did it, you persisted, um, and now you are indeed warrior strong, and you're also undefeated. So I wish you well, great success on your next endeavors, and congratulations again to all of you. Hello graduates and congratulations. You all have experienced this world during your college years in ways that many of us have not and could not all of all you were keeping an eye on the ways that you want to work in the world and how you might even want to change it we ask that as you continue to do more great things that you keep in mind that you are capable of far more than you know congratulations we're proud of you everyone. This is the moment everyone has been waiting on. Board of Governors, President Enroy Wilson, Dr. Chambly, Provost Claybo, parents, other invited guests, faculty, staff, and most of all, our honored graduates. On behalf of the African American Graduation Celebration and Planning Committee, we are truly honored to announce the following graduates. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the College of Education graduates. Perez Adams, 
Bachelor of Arts in Sports Management. Tohi Bello, Bachelor of Science in Education. Sharice Kimball, Bachelor of Science in Education. Shante Rack, Bachelor of Science in Education and Kinesiology. Miss Andre Tarant, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling and Community Inclusion. Michael Williams, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling and Inclusion. Drake Burney, Master of Education in Educational Leadership. Adrema Price, Master of Science in Exercise and Sports Science. Diablo S. Bowman, Master of Science in Sports Administration. Janine M. Bryant, Education Specialist. And here we'd like to introduce Dr. Jerry Viney, Doctor in Philosophy. College of Engineering. Aaliyah Murray, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Glenn Gaddis, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. I am proud to announce the 2021 College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts graduates. Shelley Brinkley, Bachelor of Arts in Art. Lauren Turner, Bachelor of Arts in Broadcast Journalism. Ellen Chamberlain, Bachelor of Arts in Broadcast Journalism. Jalen Washington, Bachelor of Arts in Broadcast Journalism. Dewana Ross, Bachelor of Arts in Communication Studies. Maya Glasper, Bachelor of Arts in Public Relations. Kwesi Aka, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Rochelle Brown, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Arnell Kinney, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Dance with Honors, Minor in Anthropology. Damon Nathan, Bachelor in Media Arts with a focus in Film. Keelan Davis, Bachelor of Music. Sydney Nash, Bachelor of Arts in Media Arts and Studies. 2021 College of Liberal Arts and Sciences graduates. Caitlin Ellsworth, Bachelor of Arts in African American Studies. Rachel Felder, Bachelor of Arts in English. Micah Alexandria Greer, Bachelor of Arts in History with a minor in Psychology. Asia Trimble, Bachelor of Arts in History, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy with a concentration in Law and Ethics. Jada Weatherspoon, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science with a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy. Khadija Dumas Da Silva, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science with a minor in Global Studies. Jaleesa Bolden, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology Dennis Brown, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology with Honors. Atia Williams Phillips, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Kimmet McCauley, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Vanessa Cohen, Bachelor of Public Affairs. Trayvon Avery, Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience and Psychology. Daniel O. Ro Ro Ro, Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences. Jack Spurlock, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Rochelle Chapman, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Lauren Taylor, Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences with University Honors. Chadira Uba, Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences with University Honors. Daniquia Boom, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, minor in Communication Studies. Malik Hatley, 
Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Deidre Matthews, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Patricia Maxwell, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Destiny Price, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Juanita Rice, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Chanel Taylor, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Mr. Whitfield, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Nadia Sharif, Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Food Science. Tamara Burnett, Bachelor of Science in Psychology with a minor in Global Health and Social Medicine on a pre-med track. Monet Carter, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology with a minor in Business. Kirsten Hubbard Curry, Bachelor of Science in Psychology with a minor in Criminal Justice and Sociology. Austin Petty, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Paris Simone Trailer, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Jessica Wilson, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Rayshawn Akins, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Kyra Dixon, Bachelor of Science in Public Health with a minor in Sociology and Health Psychology. Lindsay Hoper, Bachelor of Science in Public Health with a minor in Global and Social Medicine. Mayan Ligon, Bachelor of Science in Public Health with a minor in Psychology. Tawana Middlebrooks, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Shinello Inju Bebo, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Stephanie OB, Bachelor of Science in Public Health with a minor in Health Psychology and Nutrition. Michaela Politeer, Bachelor of Science in Public Health with University Honors. Tamara Prather, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Nigel Russell, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Pamela Singleton, Bachelor of Science in Public Health with a minor in Psychology. Carmen Young, Bachelor of Science in Public Health. It gives me great pleasure to announce the 2021 College of Nursing graduates. Brianna Ford, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Osama Oni, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Introducing the College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences graduates. Clifford Lyons, Jr., Master of Occupational Therapy. Brianna Ratchford, Master of Science and Pathologist Assistant. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the School of Business graduates. Asia Williams, Bachelor of Arts in Finance with a minor in Psychology. Malik Carroll, Bachelor of Arts in Global Supply Chain Management. Alicia Berry, Bachelor of Arts in Information Systems Management. Kalanji Ishmael, Bachelor of Arts in Information Systems Management. Letitia Jackson, Bachelor of Science and Business Administration. Irvin Phillips, Bachelor of Science and Business Administration. Melinda Rivers, Bachelor of Science and Business Administration. Darrell Robertson, 
Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Shavante Roth, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration in Accounting. Devon Weatherspoon, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration in Accounting. Daryl Glenn Jr., Bachelor of Science in Finance. Kiana Mateen, Bachelor of Science in Global Supply Chain Management and Marketing with University Honors. Kara Wilson, Bachelor of Science in Global Supply Chain Management. Charlotte Pickett, Post-Bachelor Certificate in Information Systems Management. Tiara Dawson, Master of Business Administration. Brandy Jones, Master of Business Administration. Christopher Pearson, Master of Business Administration. LaShonda D. Rice, Master of Business Administration. Aaron Crump, Master of Business Administration in Supply Chain and Management. Introducing the 2021 School of Information Sciences graduate, India West, Master of Library and in Information Science. It's a great honor and pleasure to acknowledge the 2021 School of Social Work graduates. Jamika Bailey, Bachelor of Social Work. Monet Eason, Bachelor of Social Work. Tanisha Denise Gaither, Bachelor of Social Work. Ashante Kelly, Bachelor of Social Work. Lauren LaFleur, Bachelor of Social Work. Marnette Mahone, Bachelor of Social Work. Lakeisha Maples, Bachelor of Social Work. Tiffany McKinney Roy, Bachelor of Social Work. Sonia Ramey, Bachelor of Social Work. Quentin Spates Jr., Bachelor of Social Work. Lachey Tate, Bachelor of Social Work. Siobhan Tiggs, Bachelor of Social Work. Jasmine Whitfield, Bachelor of Social Work. Jayla Caver, Master of Social Work. Jasmine Close, Master of Social Work. Rosalind Garner, Master of Social Work. Royale Hamilton, Master of Social Work. Savannah Holmes, Master of Social Work. Janelle Lynn, Master of Social Work. Kiana Purifor, Master of Social Work. Antoinette Omer, Master of Social Work. Jeffrey Jones, Graduate Certificate in Alcohol and Drug Abuse Studies. Congratulations, Wayne State University graduates. In the spirit of Maat, Sankofa, and Harambe, we are warrior strong. And finally, as we salute our graduates, we would like to honor the memory of our fallen warrior, Dr. Felicia Grace, suddenly passed unexpectedly May 25th. We will remember you and honor you forever. God bless you, Dr. Grace. What you have done many have not been able to do. And now you're a part of the great WSU alumni base. So you can take a deep breath, celebrate, but your work is not done. You must take time to recognize that it's now your responsibility to represent the shield 
and Wednesday by your works and deeds. You are warriors. This means you're battle tested and have demonstrated the skills and abilities to go out into the workforce and the community to do great things. However, there, there are no excuses for average. Matter of fact, it's either 100% effort or nothing. So remember, failure is an opportunity to grow. So I challenge you to do something hard every day to develop warrior grit. So from one old WSU alum to our new alums, God bless, live gritty, and most of all, go Warriors. I'm Dr. Leah Robinson, and on behalf of the Office of Diversity and Inclusion in the School of Medicine, congratulations on completing your degree at Wayne State University. Take the time to enjoy this moment. Your hard work has paid off. I'm very proud of you and your accomplishments. Greater things are ahead of you. Good afternoon to the graduating class of 2021. My name is Jamar Lockhart. I'm a program coordinator for the Michigan Gear Up program and educational talent search program at Wayne State University. I definitely want to take this time out to salute you all and congratulate you all on uh, graduating, a job well done. I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors and nothing but success. Hello, I'm Dr. Cheryl White an alumna and retiree of Wayne State University. Congratulations to all of you, and I wish you much success in your future endeavors. I'd like to take this time to say congratulations. You've made it in spite of a number of obstacles over this last year. You should be proud and your family should be proud. There's a few things that I'll ask of you just briefly during this congratulations video. And one is try to reach back and help someone else coming up, following up in your footsteps. I'm gonna encourage you to, to be a mentor I'll encourage you to possibly join the Alumni Association. We need you. The students that are walking in the door need you. And I believe there's no better advocate. There's no better person that can help a student through Wayne State than someone that has made it like yourself. So, while you celebrate this amazing day, I also want to say, just give back whatever you can. On behalf of the Office of Multicultural Student Engagement and all of my team, I want to say congratulations. Go Warriors. Hello graduates and congratulations. The Organization of Black Alumni on behalf of the Alumni Association welcome you to the Black Alumni Family Network. While you carry out your success plan over the next year establishing your post-graduation path, we invite you to share your gra graduation celebratory photos, words of encouragement for fellow graduates, and advice for future alumni on the organization's social media channels at WSU OBA, OBA on Facebook and Instagram. The history of the organization is rooted in highlighting the stories of Wayne State's Black alumni, fostering lifelong connections with, uh, with the Alumni Association through volunteer programs, resources, communications, activities, and events. As alumni, we work closely with the Office of Alumni Relations to unite and represent the interests of Black alumni, strive to empower, connect and serve to increase the visibility and impact of Black alumni. We ask and encourage you to join us today. Thank you for your inspiration you give to others by completing your degree during these challenging times and many congratulations to you. You did it, you made it, and we are proud. 
We're almost at the close of our ceremony, but before I ask permission from the elders to close the ceremony, I'd like to say one thing. Congratulations to all the graduates for the class of 2021. And I wish nothing but the best for yourself and your families moving forward. You can do this, your warrior strong. Elders, do we now have permission to close the ceremony? Ron Wood, mathematics major, class of 1975. I give my permission to close the wonderful African-American graduate ceremony for 2021. Congratulations, graduates. This is Janelle Drake giving my permission to close the African-American graduation. Brent Gillum again, giving permission to close the African-American graduation ceremony. Remember, do not let anyone deny your talent. Do not let anyone have you give up on your convictions or your consciousness and do not advocate your responsibilities.